Hello everyone and welcome back to Iden Plays Don't Starve. This is going to be our 18th episode and we are continuing on with the life of our good friend tuba man Wolfgang. So where did we leave off last week? Well, we got ourselves an alchemy engine. We... I thought we built... oh we did. We did build a football helmet so we're starting to be good there. And we also started making a crock pot, which I believe is part of why I made the alchemy engine. Let's see here, where is our crock pot? So for our crock pot, we are going to need two more cut stone. We've got eight. Let's see if we can refine that now. Yes, we can. So I've never made a crock pot before, but my good friend Griffin recommended it. And I'm going to give it a shot. It'll help me sort of break down some expiring food. And with gold, good old Wolfgang here, we are going to need to do that. So let's build that crock pot right up and we'll build it right by our campfire. So we'll have a big old circle of fun. All right, so that being said, what do we have? We don't have a whole lot of expiring food at the moment, though we do need to eat some of it. So let's eat the crap out of the most expiring food and see where that gets us. Oh, now we're that crazy strong man. All right, we're pretty full. So let's see what we've got going on. Um, we started building ourselves up some defenses. We've got a spear, we've got a helmet. So when hounds inevitably come, we've sort of got defense. Um, we also have a life-giving amulet, which did we take that up? I don't quite recall, but I mean, we must have. I wonder what you can make. Oh, wow, it's dusk already. I wonder what you can make with a mosquito sack. There's got to be something. Um, okay, well, I guess before night comes, let's uh, chop us some trees so we can have some wood. So we've only got a stack of eight right now, which is okay, but I'm probably going to need to build another chest to sort of satisfy my somewhat obsessive compulsive need for organization. And let's pick up the seeds too, but we'll move them into our other inventory. I am going to want to build a crock pot eventually, or sorry, not a crock pot, a farm plot, so that we can actually uh, have food at the ready kind of thing. At least some veggies. It's nice to grow your own veggies. I actually started my own garden for the first time this year, despite living in an apartment building, and it was pretty cool. Didn't get a big haul because, again, it was my first garden ever, so I probably didn't do things exactly perfect. But it was kind of cool. There were herbs, and there were jalapenos, and there was some deliciousness. And it's always better to make your own food anyway, so... I guess let's not stray too far from camp, because we remember that Wolfgang is a big ol' wuss when it comes to the evening. So we're gonna want to be near a fire. Though, you know what, I guess if we build enough logs, or build enough, um... What am I thinking? If we pick up enough logs, we'll have enough wood to make a campfire anyway. So we might as well keep working on this refrigerator. I want to be able to store food. Oh, now he's all sad because he's not as fat. That's okay. I guess with Wolfgang, the strategy we blah, 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 words. The strategy would be to have him as satisfied, satiated, whatever, i.e., no hunger as possible um, when we're being attacked by things, because then he would be at his strongest. Correct? I'm gonna say yes since I'm essentially talking to myself anyway. Uh, all right, let's build a campfire and make a plan. So there's some seeds. We're coming up on a full moon-ish, which is kind of scary. I don't recall what day exactly last time I had the full moon, but we know that pigs are not fun, and that's what we kind of ended up with last time. So I think what we'll do, our campsite is where? Da, 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 da. Okay, our campsite is up here. Up in the very top left corner, there was a lot of food sources, tons and tons, tons of berries around there. Um, there were some graves up by the tall bird fortress, and there's also some down in the forest. I think that's where I was last time. What is that? My mouse isn't very responsive. Oh, it's just a pond in the middle, and then there's a pig house over there. So I think we might go south and to the right a bit. You can see there's a bunch of land masses around. We'll uncover that area a little bit, see if we can't find some graves. Um, let's build some while we're waiting for daytime to come. We'll plant some random trees because really there's no sense carrying around a bunch of random pine cones. 
Unless there is sense in carrying around a bunch of pine cones, in which case, please tell me why. But, I mean, as it stands, they're just taking up room in my inventory. Oh, cool. I can refine boards while I'm out here in the wild, so that won't do much for me, really. Um, I can build a chest. I don't have a spot in my backpack for them. So, whatever. We'll swap it out with uh, the seeds and we'll make ourselves a little more organized. We're gonna have to build ourselves a new axe, but that's okay. So down and to the right we go. Let's just pick up seeds. I mean, worst case scenario, there's a little bit of food in it for us. Yeah, sure. I know obviously if you cook them they're a little bit better, but... Ooh, you know what we also need to do is build us a fishing rod. We do have a, uh, a bunch of ponds nearby, so... Eye bone. <gasps> Chester! Chester! Yeah! Look, it's our friend Chester! I haven't seen you in so long, buddy! Oh, I'm so super duper excited to have Chester. Alright, Chester, you're gonna be my buddy, my pal, and carry all this stuff that I don't really want right now. Thanks, man! Aw, I'm super stoked now. I miss Chester. I wonder, has there been any updates to Chester that I need to know about? I haven't... well, I say I haven't played in a while. I guess I haven't paid attention to the release notes in a while. Which is kind of a bad thing. I also got a little off track with where I was going. Okay, so we're in new territory now as it stands. Lots of carrots, so we'll pick them. We'll roast them up and make them into something delicious. Same with the berries. I can't get a hold of that whole holding space thing to pick up things around me. I don't know why. I guess I'm just having difficulties. There's really no good explanation for it, but hey, rabbits! We could set traps and such. I wonder if there was any rabbit holes near where we were up north a little bit. Who knows? If so, though, we should look into that and set some traps. Even just some empty traps. I guess it's nice to bait them, but why am I going to waste good old delicious carrots on rabbits when I can just eat them? Oh, yay! Alright, graves. Let's dig some graves, and we'll both break our um, shovel there, and we'll get a random sink thing. Oh, that didn't quite store it in Chester. Oop! What does that do, anyway? Tis junk. Yes, yes, sir, you're right. Oh, shoot! We haven't even built a shovel yet. Well, gosh darn it, that's kind of silly. Well, I mean, let's explore around. Maybe we'll find something. Worst case scenario, we uncover some more graves and we come back later to get them. Let's see if we'll, we can make this pig friend be friends with us, just in case we run into some craziness. Perfect, now we have a friend and we have a chest. It's always nice to have a, an entourage, just in case something crazy happens. And if I had more meat, I'd make him be our friend too. Who are you? Our pig friend's name is Alex. That's pretty cool. Any pig named Alex is a pretty cool guy. It's gotta be, right? I don't think we need any rocks immediately, but we might as well mine them regardless. Now, we just have to sit here and hope that, uh... Whoop. What's over here? Ah, perfect. So I guess we just have to hope that the full moon is not going to come on this particular evening, because then we're going to have a pig friend who kind of wants to eat us. And that's not really the type of pig friend that I want, so... Mm. On the upside, we found that there's a whole bunch of pig houses down here. Let's see, let's pick everything up. Move the gold over here as well. He's so happy. I'm so glad Alex is so happy. Alright, so there's a grave right down at the bottom here. Where did Alex go? Alright, Alex, come on. You should follow. We're gonna have to get back up to our campish so we can research a shovel. Now, what have we uncovered? Okay, so we uncovered a big sort of point of the landmass, part of what we had already uncovered, I guess. Um, I guess let's take on some spiders. Come on, Alex, be my bro. Oh, I should have probably put my armor on. Yeah, let's do that. I am your friend. You are absolutely correct, dear sir. Oh, and he ate the monster meat. That was silly. But he's happy about it, so that's good. 
All right, so there's some silk, which we are going to need for a fishing rod and a whole bunch of other things, so that's good. Also, it does look like this landmass goes a little more south. But let's take our newfound spoils. Examine walrus camp. <coughs> Is locked. Walrus camp? I've never seen that before. That's weird. Anyone, anyone, I guess my good friend Griffin or anyone who has any idea what that might be about, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I have never seen the walrus camp before. Part of me doesn't really want to be spoiled, but on the other hand, why not? Okay, examine plug sinkhole. So I think that's where we get down to the mines. Uh, we lost Alex, and I think that's because it's kind of dark and now he's scared. So let's equip the torch. Let's go, buddy. We're all kind of scared of the dark, so let's make our way back up north-ish. And he'll follow us because he likes light, so... Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, no, don't go fight spiders. You're afraid of the dark, you idiot. Oh, shoot. Alright, Alex, you need to come now. Uh, I think our good friend Alex is going to die. What are you doing, you stupid fool? Yeah, he's he's going to die. Where on earth is... Oh, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Alright, Chester, let's go. Run away, the spiders will eat your soul. And everything else about you. And now I gotta see where we, are, we even are. Okay, we're pretty far south, so we need to follow the roads and make it up to our campsite. Because not having access to a shovel is kind of BS, let's be honest here. So, I think I also need to, well, A, I need to eat, holy crap. The light is gone, oh, this is true. I should have probably stopped carrying it after the pig was not following me anymore. Oh, he's big strong man now. So here are pawns, so we're near-ish. I love that I don't even really know where my base is. Alright, let's go. Hopefully Chester is still following us. He should be, because we do have the bone. Come on, buddy. And now we just have to find our little cross of biomes. We must be close. Oh, look, there is a rabbit hole nearby. Alright, let's place some wood on the fire here. And maybe a little bit more, because we are going to cook our food. We're going to cook our food. We will build a new chest out of the boards that Chester's currently got inside of him right now. Um, oops, no. Well, I guess you could eat them, but... And then we're going to prototype a shovel, because that's important. But we do want... Yes. Another chest. Go... Sure, under that one. Why not? I'm really just sort of playing this as it goes, so... What can we put in here? Ashes, I probably don't need right now. I probably don't also need that. Uh, what else can I put in there? Charcoal, I can't remember what that was for. Someone be a deer and remind me why I have that. Um, spider glands, I think are in Chester. Holy moly, it is daytime again. We need to find beefalo. Because we need some poop. So that we can make a plot. Um, what was I building? Do, 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 do. Shovel. That's what I was building. Luxury axe. We can build all the luxury things. They last a little bit longer, but I don't really find that gold is a good enough, uh, a prevalent enough, I should say, resource for us to really bother with it at the moment. Um, we'll put that back on. Let's rearrange our resources here, which is super duper fantastic. Is there anything else we can build? Let's see what else we can build. And then I think we'll keep this week's episode short so that we can re-explore. Well, you know, we didn't get a lot of day last time. Uh, hammer. I wonder if that's what you need to get below ground. Pitchfork digs up the, the land. Razor will shave off your face, obviously. There's all sorts of light sources we can potentially make. Uh, survival. Oh, yes. We are going to build a trap to put over on this rabbit hole. In case you guys have not realized or you forget, my memory is possibly the worst memory in all time. Uh, let's pick this berry bush because we're here and we'll just eat it. Actually, if there's fire left, we'll fire it. 
Cooksy berries. Mmm, delicious mushy berries. Alright, what else can we build? So we built the trap. Um, we can also build a bird trap to catch birds. Compass, that might be interesting. I don't know if it's super necessary, but it might be interesting. Um, more backpacks, healing salve, so that's what we need ashes for. Uh, it might be good to have one of those around, I guess, since we've got these stuff for it. This is what we're going to do right now. We are going to prep ourselves for some inevitabilities. So let's build ourselves a healing salve since we've got this stuff for it. Um, and then it's prototyped. And it seems to be that once you've prototyped something, you can just use it whenever in the wild. So again, whether that's accurate or not, I have no idea. I am absolutely not an authority on Don't Starve as much as I wish I could be. I just enjoy playing the game now and again. What else can we build here? Honey poultice, so that's another healing thing. Straw roll to sleep, fur roll to super sleep. Tent, which restores your sanity, but costs time and hunger. Umbrella mitigates the effects of moisture. Bug net obviously catches bugs. Fishing rod, we can go fishing for fish. Yeah, let's build one of those, we've got the stuff for it. Uh, what else can we do? That was all under survival, eh? And a heat stone, which stores heat for travel. So that requires a pickaxe, a ton of stone, and some flint. Let's prototype one. I think that might be one of our uh, one of our winter-related things. So that's all right. But since we're here, we'll need to build another pickaxe since we used our last one. And now we've got a lot of tools lined up in our inventory here, which is okay. Um, we've got the tools. We've got the essentials foodstuffs. We want some poop so we can build farm plots. Um, bee box might be good. Drying rack is for drying your meats. Ice box. We need those gears. Need, need, need those gears. Science stuff. All sorts of science stuff. Must be a way out of here. So I guess that's to escape the Don't Starve universe. Alright. What do we got? What do we got going on? Let's go get us some more berries while we still have some daylight. We won't venture too far from our post because I think what we'll do is I'll get to dusk and I'll call it there. Which is a really arbitrary place to call it, but even if we didn't get a lot accomplished this episode, I think we learned a lot. And I do have a lot of stuff, so that's kind of cool. We can pick up some more flint. We can absolutely pick up some more grass. Um, sticks as well. I'm used to having a super duper full inventory of all of the above, so... Let's do that. Let's pick seeds. And I wonder where we're going to find beefalo. What is this? Did we find this already? Oh yeah, we did. That rabbit is scared. Sorry, rabbit. Uh, well, yeah, let's explore a little more of this middle area. We kind of went in a loop around. It looks like there's a bunch of bees, basically. Yeah, we're going right through the middle. And there's a bunch of bees, some more berries... Actually, this sort of northwest area looks like it's supremely good for berries, so that's good. We'll need to know we've got that sort of food source handy. Uh, let's see. I don't expect that there's going to be anything crazy really in this unexplored area. It's possible, um, but I guess not super duper likely. So let's collect these resources here. And then we'll have something to cook up over the night time. And then we'll call it a day. Because you know what, Wolfgang? Even though it's only been a few days, it's been a scary few days. You made a pig friend and he died. And I'm sorry for that. It was kind of his own fault, though. Poor Alex, the stupid pig, wanted to go instigate a spider war. And we didn't really authorize such shenanigans. Ooh, there's a pond. Let's catch a fish. I wonder if you can catch a fish at night. I wonder if it matters what time of day it is. I've never fished before, so... Oh, there we go! Look, now we have a fish! Can you only fish from a pond a certain number of times? Stop fishing? Any bites? Anything in there? Maybe? Oh, no. Okay. Well, we have a couple of fish. Let's try a third fish. I've never fished before. This is kind of an interesting sort of mechanic. Let's see here. Are there any more fish in this teeny tiny little pond? Apparently so. 
Even with three fish in a pond, you know, I could lay... Wolfgang could pretty much lay down across that pond. That's a really crowded pond. Even with just three fish. So that's kind of crazy. So maybe we'll combine some crap in the crock pot. We've got berries and carrots and fish. I have no idea what disgusting creation that might make, but it might be worth trying. But since we're here, actually, it looks like we're going to end up spending a night out in the wild. There's no way we're getting back to our base by nightfall. Uh, yeah, no, pretty far away. But we can at least make our way there, and then we'll set up camp in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, and eat something, because I'm kind of hungry. I probably don't want to eat raw fish. That's not super tasty. Oh, it is also a full moon, so I don't know if that means we're going to have to watch out for creepies. Whoa! I know you're scared. It's okay, buddy. So we've got a heat stone. Apparently it's kind of warm. He says it's nice to touch. So I wonder if we put it near the fire, if that will maybe make it pick up heat. It looks like it. It's glowing. Oh, and now it's... Now it's yellow. What if we drop it again? Will it become red? This is new to me, so I don't know. Maybe it'll just explode because it's too hot. Oh, now it's orange. Mmm, see? <laughs> Ooh, colors. It looks like the heat lines are radiating out quicker and quicker from it. It's finally hot enough. Okay. So I don't know how long that retains heat, but that might help us through winter. So it's good that we have that. All right, you know what? We learned a lot today, I think. I still have some things I need to learn and still some stuff I need to do, but for this week, I'm at least going to call it an episode. So thank you for kind of wandering around with me and Wolfgang. Um, until next Thursday, please have a wonderful week. Oh, near, that's not good. He just said he hears puppies. So we might be encountering some hounds next week. Um, but pop on over to twitter.com slash Evolves. Leave me some comments over there. Follow me there. We can chat about things. Um, also leave me some comments below the video. I love playing games and interacting with you guys about them, so it keeps me going. But until next Thursday, like I said, have a wonderful week, and I will see you then. Bye now.